What's up everybody, my name is Zach Pascarello and in this video I'm going to teach you how you can easily create marketing content for your bookkeeping business using ChatGPT with basically no experience. And it's going to look just like this. I know this isn't awesome, this isn't perfect, but I created 10 social media posts in less than 30 minutes and they all look just like this and I'm about to teach you exactly how I did it so that you can create your own marketing content for your bookkeeping business. I make these videos just so that I can teach you how to start and grow your own bookkeeping business the exact same way that I did it. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every day teaching you stuff like this. And if you wanna schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, there's a link in the description below. I can mentor you, I can teach you, I can answer your questions, whatever you need, I would be happy to work with you. Okay, let's get started. Let me show you how to easily create marketing content for your social media using ChatGPT. If you haven't heard of ChatGPT, it's artificial intelligence, and I highly recommend that you look into it. It's completely free. The website is just chat.openai.com. If you go to Google, you can probably just Google ChatGPT, and you can create an account and you can log in and you can use it for free. So I'm gonna show you real quick. It's kind of a step-by-step -step process. So first of all, I'm going to use ChatGPT to come up with the ideas and these are not perfect ideas. They might require some fine tuning on your end just to give them a human touch because it is artificial intelligence. So it's not perfect, but it's a great way to easily get started. So you're gonna use ChatGPT to come up with the ideas and then you're gonna use Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets to import the data into a website called canva.com that will enable you to complete and produce your social media posts. So I'm gonna show you all three steps right now. So this is ChatGPT, and you can see here, it's probably a little bit small on the screen, but I just asked ChatGPT, can you give me 10 short bookkeeping tips for entrepreneurs? And they said, sure, here are 10 short bookkeeping tips for entrepreneurs. Number one, keep business and personal expenses separate. Pretty easy. Number three, set up a regular schedule to reconcile your accounts. And it just gave me 10 ideas, 10 tips just like that. These are not groundbreaking ideas. You're not going to change lives with these ideas. They're simple, but they are good ideas to help business owners with their bookkeeping. Now, the next thing I did is I said, can you provide two additional details under each tip? That way I could expand upon these bookkeeping tips. And they said, certainly, here are two additional details for each of the bookkeeping tips I provided. So we'll just look at the first example. Keep business and personal expenses separate was the first tip. And then they provided two additional details. Open a separate bank account and credit card for business transactions and then avoid using personal funds for business expenses. I know it's a little bit small on the screen, but as long as you ask ChatGPT to do those first two things, they will give you a list of 10 tips and each tip will have two bullet points underneath. Now, you're going to copy and paste this information and you're going to put it into an Excel spreadsheet. If you don't have Excel, you can also use Google Sheets. You're going to put it in three columns just like this. So I have the title in column one, tip one in column two, which is just the first bullet point under each tip. And then tip number two is the second bullet point. So I have here in, in this, it's got to be formatted exactly like this. So in column, in column A, we have keep business and personal expenses separate. And then the tip, open a separate bank account and credit card. And then the tip, avoid using personal funds for business expenses. And you're just going to go down the list. You're going to copy and paste your information from ChatGPT into Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets. And then, this is important, whenever you save this file, you need to save it as a CSV file. You cannot save it as an Excel file because then you will not be able to import the data into Canva.com. Okay, now I'm going to show you Canva. So now we've used ChatGP to come up with the 10 ideas. We've imported them into Excel or Google Sheets. And now we need to upload them to Canva. Now, Canva is not free. So Canva.com is free, but in order to do this bulk import, you need to pay for the pro version. I think it's like 13 bucks a month. Super, super worth it. This is the only thing you have to pay for. Everything else is free, but it's definitely worth it because you can make so many cool graphics with Canva. So here I just chose a very basic background. This is just like a gray 
background. You can choose any background you want. The only thing is that every post is going to look the exact same, which isn't ideal. But if you're in a pinch, if you're just trying to real quick create some marketing content, this is a great way to get started. So every background is going to look the exact same. You can make it look like whatever you want. And then I just put my logo up here. You can, if you don't have a logo, you can just put your name. So you can just put Harrisburg Bookkeeping at the top there. And then I just wrote in tip of the day. And I'm not going to show you how to do it. This is all super, super simple. Just log into canva.com, create a Facebook post, and then just manipulate this. It's really, really not difficult. I'm not going to show you how to do that. What I will show you how to do. Okay, so once you have this post, now you need to have the pro version of Canva in order to do this. But in the bottom left-hand corner, you're going to see an option for apps. And then you're going to click on the apps. And then you're going to click on bulk create. Bulk create. And then once you do that, it's gonna, you're gonna add your data. So it's gonna come up with a screen right here that says add your data. You can enter your data manually or like what we talked about, you can upload your CSV. Okay, so I uploaded my CSV and now it's going to ask me to connect your data to your elements. So here's your data. We have the title, tip one and tip two. And now we need to right click on an element in your page to connect it to your data below. So we're gonna click on this title right here. So I right clicked on the title and then we have this option here, connect data. And then we're gonna choose whether or not we wanna connect our title, tip one or tip two. So we're gonna click on title and then we're gonna do the same thing for tip one and tip two. So we're gonna connect the data to tip one and tip two. Okay, once we have the data connected, you're gonna click continue right here. And now it has all of the tips that you generated from ChatGPT and put into the Excel file and then imported into Canva. All of the information is right here. You're gonna click that generate button. It's gonna generate 10 pages of content for you. And now we have Harrisburg Bookkeeping, tip of the day, and we have this keep business and personal expenses separate, open a separate bank account and credit card for business transactions, avoid using personal funds for business expenses. That's the first one. And then as we scroll down here, we have all of the other 10 tips and they all look the exact same, which I'm not a big fan of the fact that they all look the exact same. But as you can see, in like less than 10 minutes, we used ChatGPT to come up with ideas. Now, keep in mind, ChatGPT is artificial intelligence, so you might need to review and edit the tips because they're not always perfect, but it's such an easy way to get started, and it's free. We've used ChatGPT to generate the ideas. We used Excel to enter the data, and then we used Canva to bulk import that data from Excel and we put it onto our social media posts. And then the last step, you just download these posts and then upload them to your Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, whatever social media you're using. These are great tips. And I always tell people, these marketing tips are not designed to be super entertaining. Like people are not going to look forward to your post every day, but the whole point of these marketing posts is so that people start associating with you with being a bookkeeping expert because they're going to see wow zach has been talking about these harrisburg bookkeeping tips of the day track and pay taxes on time like zach talks about this stuff every day for the past year he must be a bookkeeping expert and you're trying to build trust with your clients on social media so they're going to trust you they're going to think you're an expert because you're simply posting these tips of the day this bookkeeping advice, this tax tips. This is such an easy way to automate and in bulk create social media content in less than 30 minutes.